Hey guys, it's your friendly purple cat, Fat Cat, and I thought I'd do a little walk around and show you some of my town history. Mainly a couple, main, mainly one of the larger cemeteries that are by my, that is by my house. It's pretty big, it's old, um, I personally know some people buried in there, and I like to go through there, and it's actually a very pretty one, so I'd like to show you guys. And there's some bits of history to it too, and history is fun! So. Yay, adventure in the cemetery. No ghosties, they're nice in there. I talked to them. First bit of history. This is the town right next to mine. I hope you can see it from the sun glare. But this town, which is Athens, was also known as the Tioga Point Connection. So guys, this is the Tioga Point Cemetery. As you can probably see, this is just the entrance, but it's pretty big. So this should be interesting. This cemetery, as you can tell from the date here on the pillar, was um, first started in 1868, and there's, it's not organized technically by year, but there's all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of um, war veterans, including my grandfather. He was he buried here, and he was a World War II vet, but he he lived through through the war. He just died a couple years ago. Pretty, pretty had a pretty epic life, and there's some other very interesting people in this. Cemetery, and that's why I'd like to show it, show it to you guys today. Definitely in part of some of the older graves, cemetery, part of the older cemetery now. It's interesting to see as you sort of go back in history how some of the designs get of the cemeteries just they, they just change and there's so much more symbolism in them. Like I know like the urns mean one thing and there was one over here somewhere that had a scroll on it. And I, and I could be wrong. If you know this more than I do, please correct me. I do believe if someone has a scroll on their memorial stone, that means they were either a scholar or someone of like the faith or the cloth, like a priest or a rabbi or something. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'm not quite sure, but I do know it means something. But like, look at like the engraving on that. It's beautiful. I mean, I know for a lot of people, cemeteries are a sad place because we love the people who pass away, but at the same time, their history, and that history can be haunting, it can be sad, but it can, all, but it can also be fascinating and beautiful, and I think that's why I like this cemetery so much. I don't know too many people in here, but I'd like to think just by coming here occasionally, talking to them, sort of like now, even though I'm also talking to you guys, that they know that they're not forgotten. So I think, isn't that what we all want in life? We don't, we, we, want, we want to be remembered. And no matter what you believe in, if it's a god or no god or many gods or, I don't know, fairies, something, whatever you believe in, we want to be remembered. And I think coming here, respect that fact. For both the people who are here and the people who are still walking on the, on the ground. Yeah. Another reason why I love this cemetery is all the trees. In this kind of weather, it's the closest thing I can get to walk, going for a walk in the woods. <laughs> Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. And I'll take the one less icy. <laughs> Definitely the one less icy. Remember when I said how big this cemetery was? Yeah. This is the way we came. This is about two mile, about, no, about a mile down the hill to the other side of the road that we're just sort of following. 
And somebody, some people have not taken down their Christmas decorations in here yet. But they're pretty, so that's okay. Rather fancy wreaths. Because you certainly couldn't have real flowers now. <sighs> Gonna go say hi to my grandpa real quick. He's back here. Excuse me, friends. I always, that's the one thing with memorial places like cemeteries. I don't like walking in between graves unless I'm going to sp visit someone in specific. And this is my grandpa. Hi, grandpa. He fought in World War II. They made, made it home safe, huh? Hi, grandpa. Him and grandma are very romantic. It's still their last great adventure. I'm going to visit grandma today. I'll say hi to her for you. I love you. Quick funny-ish, funny-ish story about this bright white angel statue over here. It probably looks a little bit more farther away to you guys than it actually is. But anyways, because this is newer, it basically glows in the dark. It is very bright, even when it's night out. And I kid you not, I have driven on, driven and or ridden on this road right here before and forgotten that the statue is here. So imagine at night, you're driving down by the cemetery and you see this white figure in there. I can't. It just scared the poop out of me a couple times, more than once before I realized, oh wait, that's just a statue. It's not a weeping angel. It's not somewhat a spirit that is angry at all passers-by. It's just a beautiful angel statue. And everyone in here is as beautiful, are beautiful, and they would not try to haunt anyone driving by, right? I hope so. If you can hear the bells, that's actually being played from the ma mausoleum up here. It plays, I think, starting from 9 o'clock on just about every hour. It's a beautiful sound, although sometimes, since it plays fairly late into the evening, it's a little eerie if I decide to take an evening walk through here and I uh, conveniently forget that there's going to be music playing. Yeah. But it is pretty. Well, that was my little history slash cemetery wander. I hope you enjoyed it. So, have a great day, guys, and stay awesome, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye!